We do our live Q&As, well, live. So if you want to be a part of them, you got to subscribe. That way you'll be notified once we go live and you can get in on our live chats during our Cowboys Report live shows. So if you have not already, if you're one of the half of our audience who's not subscribed, not sure what you guys are waiting for at this point. Hit that big red button and subscribe today. Super chat first up here from King J. Is Goodell getting back at Jerry Jones by not reinstating Randy Gregory? Uh, clever idea, clever conspiracy theory. Um, look, I don't think that the answer is no. I, I don't think so. Because if Goodell wanted to, A, he'd find something about Zeke again, right? Like, he got back at, at Jones for Zeke already. And on top of that, wouldn't he have rejected Alden Smith? Like, they they signed Alden. So that they would have gotten it at Alden, I think, before Gregory. I, I don't think there's a grand conspiracy by Roger Goodell to get back at Jerry Jones. I don't I don't think that's the the what's going on here for the for the Dallas Cowboys and, and for the NFL. All right, Jordan Jamerson, since we need a wide receiver four, how about T. Y. Hilton if possible? Um what is this, Madden? Like, heck yeah, I'll take T.Y. Hilton as the number four receiver. I ain't getting him because the Colts aren't going to trade him. And also, I'm not going to put T.Y. as my fourth. Like, giving up assets to make T.Y. receiver four, like, that's 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 misusing T.Y. Hilton. Like, yeah, like that, that works if you're just doing mad and adding all the good players, but that's not how the NFL works. Now, speaking of the Cowboys receivers, who will be their number one receiver this year? We'll call it yards. Who leads the way for the Cowboys at that area? Type L for C.D. Lamb, C for Amari Cooper, or type G for Michael Gallup. Uh, from uh, Joffrey Snow, what does Dak's stats have to look like to win NFL MVP? I think you have to win probably 11 or 12 games. You have to win the NFC East, get probably one of the top two, maybe top three seeds. Uh, I think you got to throw for, oh, well over 4,000 yards. You probably need 35-ish total touchdowns. And, look, in the end, it's not fair, but MVP, you got to win the games. Like, you have to win a bunch. It's not fair. It's not a good way to evaluate quarterbacks. But to win the MVP, it always goes to either one of the best teams or a quarterback on the team who exceeds your expectations the most. Speaking of wins from Declan Adams, over under 11 wins. Oh. That's that's a good over under. I think it's a little bit high. You guys get your votes in here as well. I, I think I'm gonna go ten and six. Um, I do wonder how the um, how things all in, are impacted with with COVID and the abbreviated off season. So get your votes in here. I, I think over under eleven is a good number. I think I might go with ten, but it's it's close. All right, Troy Daniels. Will Holmes' contract affect Dak's tag this year? How does it look for Dak's contract to manage to come up with a deal? So the second part of your question, we did break down, Troy, perhaps you didn't see it. I broke down. It's actually the the, uh, the pinned tweet right now on my, on my profile at What Going Downey. The, the breakdown, the comparison of Mahomes and Dak, what the impact is, how it looks, it's all there. You can check it out. I subscribe. I know, Troy, I know you're subscribed. Check it out. It's one of our most recent videos. Also, if you don't want to go look through YouTube, pinned comment at What Going Downey. The first part there, the tag is not impacted by Mahomes' contract this year. The, the tag prices are set for Dak. Unless things get wild and they go way, way up next year in salary, which isn't going to happen, it's going to be 31.4 this year and 37.68 or 64, I think, next year. Hunter Metting, what are the chances Cheeto breaks and fills Byron's shoes? Um, I think you mean breaks out, left out that word. I don't feel I don't feel great. Um, also, sorry, uh, Jeffrey, that I uh, mispronounced your first name. I, I went G Game of Thrones on you. I'm sorry. Um, I I don't think great. Uh, I was hoping last year was the breakout year for Cheeto. He's not that bad, but he's he's a number two. He's he's not going to be a legitimate top five, top ten corner like Byron Jones. Now, for a uh, speaking of, of, of you know secondaries and safeties and corners and all of that here, Cowboys face masks are still on sale. Now, if you go to games this year, you're I I, I can say with the utmost confidence here, you're gonna have to wear a mask. They're not gonna let people in with without wearing one. So if you're going to a game wearing a mask, you might as well wear a Cowboys one, right? Chatsports.com/slash Cowboys mask. 
That's chatsports.com slash Cowboys Mask. That link is in the comments. It's in the description. Go check them out. They got one to four packs, ton of variety, all available right now. From King J, we could have traded for Slay, Fitzpatrick, Thomas, Boye, Adams. At this point, I'm going to assume the organization doesn't like good defensive backs. Well, I mean, they have invested in safeties. That's true. Um, I'll go bit by bit to explain why the Cowboys didn't go after those guys. Um, Darius Slay didn't want to pay the actual contract. Same as, as Earl Thomas. Jamal Adams is, is TBD. A.J. Boye is not that good. The Broncos were paid for him. Terrible trade. I'm glad the Cowboys didn't do it. The Cowboys, as I reported, made an offer for Minka Fitzpatrick. They just never gave up the first round pick. Maybe they should have. Maybe they shouldn't have. Wouldn't have C.D. Lamb. Tough to tell. But the Cowboys have their, their costs, and they, they, they let other teams pay more in the end. All right, Declan Adams signed as, as a wide receiver for it. Back. It never goes away. Um, if you want, whatever. But, like, Des hasn't played in two years, guys. Like, we, we, we have to identify the Des Bryant we loved in his prime, the not-as-good Des Bryant the Cowboys cut because he was not a number one receiver anymore. I think the Cowboys should have kept him. I think I was proven right because they had a good trade for Mari Cooper, but it wasn't the same guy anymore. And the Dez that hasn't played in several years and doesn't help you as a, as a normal backup does. There's no special teams value. There's, there's a lack of speed at this point in his NFL career. I don't think Dez makes sense. When they took C.D. Lamb and gave him 88, like, read between the lines, guys. It, it, I see ends coming in. Sorry, Dez, I don't think it makes sense anymore. Another super chat from King J. Adding Clowney and Snacks would help against teams later in the season. I agree. We're going to need to shore up the run game to stop Baltimore and San Francisco. You know what? It's a great point. Those two teams can run the football as well as anyone. Get to this one, Brett. Cryptic Shadow, the answer is no. Absolutely not. Next question. Aiden Ferns, is the defense going to play more zone or man this year? Great question. I anticipate more zone. These corners are not good enough to play man. They, they, they are either not good enough, too young, too raw, not fast enough. I anticipate more zone looks. I think you might see a little bit more cover four. I think you'll still see some cover three. I think you will see a multiple defensive scheme. I think you'll see more two deep safeties as well in terms of either you know man to man with two guys back deep, more cover four fits that, that two split uh, safety look. I think you'll see more zone this year for the Cowboys just Probably a little bit less cover three than what you saw last season. From Cowboys franchise, Xavier Woods healthy and has a proper breakout year. The first half of last year's season, I thought it was the breakout season. He was really good those first eight games or so. And the back half of the year, he just wasn't the same. He really wasn't. Um, it just was not the same guy. I, maybe it was a fluke. Maybe it was the injury. I hope there's a breakout year. Worst case, I have to lose him in free agency because he's so good. That means he played really well for us. That's fine with me. All right, from uh, uh, Angel, or if it's Angel, let me know how you pronounce it. I've heard both, of course. Uh, who are we losing against this year? Uh, I think you, I think you split against the Eagles. I don't feel great about the Ravens game. Steelers, if Big Ben is there. Maybe Seattle. I think the Niners could be a loss as well. I think you end up losing five or six games in the end. Um, so I saw you just super chat of that, so... Perfect timing, my friend. We did get that one in there for you. Now, a question for you guys watching. Who is your favorite Cowboys player of all time? I know producer Brett's. It's Charles Haley. Because Charles Haley once punched Brett. Um, I always go with Deion Sanders, uh, even though he barely played for the Cowboys, but I, I love Deion. Uh, I see Deion from, from uh, Green Caesar, 55, Demarcus Ware, Roger Staubach. I always go to Randy White. Well, I think I've influenced people by, by saying Dion. Emmett Smith, Jeffrey, also a good pick in there. Keep those comments coming. Uh, also, uh, producer Brett goes full home with his actual answer. K-State, both of them K-State grads, Terrence Newman. Now, current Cowboys players, well, those jerseys are on sale for 25% off. Whole bunch of options there. They've got different colors. They have the, the all-whites and the navies. I prefer the whites to the navies, but maybe I'm just crazy. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys jersey. That's chatsports.com slash Cowboys jersey. That link is in the comments, and it's in the description as well. So all you guys got to do is click, 
and go shop. From King J, if Deshaun Jackson is cut, do you have interest in signing him? No, I don't. Because he got cut because he's racist, and I just don't want to deal with that. I'm just, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to deal with that one. Like, player-wise, sure, the speed's intriguing, but, like, yeah, at a certain point, maybe you should invest with, like, you know, good people. Just throwing that out there. So I'm going to pass on Deshaun Jackson. I'll go find somebody else instead. I appreciate the Super Chat, King J. If you'd asked me this, like, three weeks ago, answer might be very different. Right now, not. Nah. Now, I know the answer, and this is why producer Brett brings this up. Producer Brett hates Deshaun Jackson. Not a fan of him. He's the Eagles player he hates the most. So who is it for you guys? Let me know in the comments section. I'm very curious what the answers are here. I think I'm going to go with Donovan McNabb. Not like player, but like analyst. He sucked. He was horrible. He had no business being on air. Producer Dylan has his hands raised way back there. Dylan? Terrell Owens? But he played for the Cowboys. So T.O. doesn't count because... At least I'll answer how I, I viewed it. Pre-Cowboys, post-Cowboys, hate T.O. Hate During Cowboys, loved him. He was great. He was great. Uh, I see Brian Dawkins. But see, I, I respect Brian because he was so good. Cos, C Carson Wentz is, is a very popular one in there. Uh, Nasir says all of them. Okay, fair. Uh, th they're fans. That's a good answer, too. I appreciate that. So keep those coming. Uh, Riley Cooper, yeah, that's a good one in there, King J. That's a good one. Uh, Matthew B., is there any true number one corner the Cowboys could realistically trade for? At, unless someone surprising comes available, I don't know. I mean, I, I've mentioned William Jackson. He's kind of more betting on being a number one guy. I'd love to get Patrick Peterson. I don't think he's available, though. So at this point in July, the answer is almost always no. Maybe things will change. And if they do, you better believe we'll break it down for you here at the Cowboys Report. Hey Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well for the next Cowboys Report video right here.